Shabbat Shalom, family. Shabbat Shalom. Hey, family. We are excited to come here and worship with you all, fellowship with you all, family, yes. to discuss another. This is a, an exciting topic. This is an interesting topic. It is. It is, family. And today we're talking about what they never told you about spiritual Israel, family. Mm. And really, you can you can kind of say this is a part two of, of our lesson of, of last week. Um, we learned some things. I know I learned some things that I didn't know about. Me too. Uh, so it, it's going to be very interesting. But we like these type of lessons, family, because it not, it not only uh, helps us mm -hmm. learning new things, helps us to study and sharpen up what, our discernment in the word, but... Mm -hmm. It gives us the opportunity, family, to reiterate a lot of the points that we talk about on this channel. And, and one of those points is that when we read the scriptures, family, we must realize that who this book is talking about, who the people they're talking about, what's the context of everything. And any time that we can come on here and discuss that and, and, and cement that point, family, it's a great thing. Because a lot of times, especially those of us who been in the truth for a while we think a lot of people know the things that we know but right. <laughs> people are coming in every day and this is their first time getting a hold of this information right. they're coming out of church they were taught a whole different uh doctrine in church and this is all new stuff it's, it's yes. just like like well, i think i said it last week it's like they're learning one plus one all over again yes. this is all new stuff which is mm -hmm. where we were at some right. point and actually to be honest we're still learning today mm -hmm. we are going to be forever learning it's not i mean that it's not something that just because we're in this walk and just because we have a certain knowledge that oh i mean we got it you know it's mm -hmm. not we, we never want to be to the point to where we feel that we have enough knowledge, you know? Right. But at the same time, too, we don't want to become <laughs> puffed up, puffed up mm -hmm. with the knowledge because it says knowledge puffs up. Right. So we still have to remain humble and always remember that everybody is not on the same page when it comes to this walk. Mm -hmm. We have a variety of people on this channel, just like Brother Rashad mm -hmm. said, that are coming into the truth. Some who are seasoned, you know, some who, mm -hmm. who've been in the truth for a couple of years. So we have to take that into consideration so that, as we often say, that we don't become a stumbling block to mm -hmm. those babes who are new to the wall, mm -hmm. you know, who's trying to understand. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to, I'm going to say this, that as we're going to be reading in the scriptures, mm -hmm. that we're going to be saying some of the terms with the, you know, with the J's and stuff or whatever. We don't go and read out of the Sefer because of the fact we really started realizing that it's not as easy for the babes to comprehend. Right. So if there's anyone who have a Sefer and you feel you would like to share some of those verses from the Sefer, then mm -hmm. please do. We've noticed that some of you have been doing that and we appreciate it. Right. But we also want this to be so easy that even a babe could understand it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I, I was saying earlier how like these type of lessons, it, it gets us to gives us the opportunity to go back to, you know what, one plus one equals two, because again, religion taught us that the scriptures, the Bible, it's about everybody. And is that really true, family? Mm -hmm. Is that really true? Yes, it is about everybody. But y'all had established an order too, right? How things go, how things operate. Remember, y'all is an Elohim of order. Mm -hmm. He likes order. It's not a free for all family. Mm -hmm. It's not the whole world. He chose a certain people. Right. He chose Israel. And we're going to read the scriptures, family. Right. He chose Israel. Mm -hmm. Right. And we have to remember, too, the bulk of the book, what it was all about, mm -hmm. who it was all about, the right. bulk of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And this is what we're going to be talking about today because we're starting to realize that, like, as we continue to keep growing in, in the truth and Yah, seeking Yah for understanding and wisdom mm -hmm. in the scriptures, we are starting to realize how much... Um, error there is how much falsehood it is mm. and like things that people are not even discussing they're not even talking about and how some have which we mentioned before like just completely just hijacked this this walk right. I took the scriptures and said let's make it our own mm -hmm. and we like wow if only they knew that their labor is in vain 
unless they turn around and really start worshiping the way mm -hmm. Yah tells us to worship, which is spirit and truth, and how the scriptures explains us to worship Yah. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of false good going on in the world today. Absolutely. So, family, we're talking about what they never told you about spiritual Israel. And, and we saw a couple of lessons on these things. And we heard, I mean, it was across the spectrum, family. Mm -hmm. People had different ideas on this topic. Mm -hmm. And we were like, man, this is real interesting. We never knew. Right. <laughs> we never knew that this was it was such a thing. Right. I've always heard of it, but the understanding the, the doctrine of it and the mm -hmm. concepts of it, it, I learned something new. So right. what we will cover, family, we're going to kind of cover three things today. So and this is what we're going to talk about throughout the lesson. Mm -hmm. Number one, family, is there such a thing as a spiritual Israel? Do the, do the scriptures actually talk about this? Mm -hmm. Do the scriptures actually say there's a spiritual Israel? Mm -hmm. We're going to cover that. Mm -hmm. Number two, has Israel replaced, has Israel been replaced by the church? In other words, mm -hmm. the spiritual Israel. Israel. <laughs> the church now is, is is spiritual Israel, right? Well, that's what That's what they say. They that's, are teaching in what, what is that Christianity, right? I think? That's well, the doctrine that well, not just Christianity. Not just Christianity, huh? some We've heard people yes. say this too who are we say believers. Yes. That's walking in the truth. Yes. They believe it too. Well, walking in truth or mm -hmm. we just say believers. Right. I don't know if right. we could we call, call it walking truth. in truth. We'll just say they're believers. <laughs> right. Um and finally, we're going to talk about where did this concept of a spiritual Israel originate from? from. So, uh, so this is interesting. And matter of fact, let's start with that. Where did this concept, this idea of a spiritual Israel come from, family? Mm -hmm. And you would be shocked where this comes from. Mm -hmm. I did a quick search mm -hmm. and I found the definition. Mm -hmm. Did we hear our sister talk, mention this too last week? I uh, think... Um, Malacca, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. The replacement theology. Yes, it's called. It's another name for it. It's called replacement theology. Mm -hmm. And I looked. Uh, I found this on Wikipedia, and we all know about Wikipedia. We, you can't trust it. You can take what you hear with a grain of salt. But a lot of times, the things that they say has truth to it. Mm -hmm. So this is a definition from Wikipedia, family, mm -hmm. about uh, replacement theology. It says this. Another name for it is supersessionism. Supersessionism, also called replacement theology, is the Christian doctrine that the Christian church has superseded the Jewish people. You know, it's the Israelite people, but they say the Jewish people. Assuming their role as Yah's covenant people. Well, they have gods, you mm -hmm. know, this is Wikipedia, but... Thus asserting that the new covenant... Through Yahushua has superseded or replaced the Mosaic Covenant. Supersessionists hold that the universal church has become, has become, they say God's true Israel. And so Christians, whether Jew or Gentile, are the people of Yah. Hmm. Of course, they have the false names here, but we just, we try to say the true names as mm -hmm. much as we can. But this is something as well, not not just on Wikipedia, but if you research it, it come, you know, it's all, it all goes hand in hand. Right. It all pretty much is saying the same mm -hmm. thing about the replacement theology. So, family, this originated from Christianity. So, we can, when we see that, we kind of have to think and say, hmm, we know what we learned in Christianity. I, I might have to revisit this. Mm -hmm. Right. And we have to remember too, like we, we have to say this too, that there is some truth in Christianity. Right. Not everything is false, mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's a lot of falsehood as well. This is right. why many of us has, has come out of Christianity mm -hmm. because of all of the falsehood. Right. But we just want to say that too. There is some truth, but in this situation, we're going to see right. how true this is. Absolutely. And what, what else stood out to me is, is when it said, they're getting this assertion from the new covenant. And I think that's where a lot of this this idea comes from. A lot of people read in the in the new covenant, they like, you know what? This is the new covenant is spiritual. So that must mean it's spiritual Israel. You know what? The old the old testament, the old covenant, that's dealing with laws, that's dealing with Moses and all that. Nah, that there was of the flesh. But the new covenant, that's spiritual. Hmm. hmm. We'll see. We'll see, family. 
So that's their definition. This originated from Christianity and they basing it off of the new covenant. But again, family, when you come here to the way TV, we have to tie them both together. The new and the old. Mm -hmm. They go hand in hand. Go hand family. in hand. You can't have one you without can't the have other. One without the other. You can't make a new doctrine based on just one scripture, one verse, yes. one section of scripture. We right. can't build a whole doctrine around that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And if you just try to say, okay, I'ma just uphold just the old covenant, mm -hmm. then you might as well throw away Yahushua. Yes. And then if you say I'm just gonna just follow the new covenant then you might as well remain in christianity because that is how exactly. they preach that is the good yes. news in christianity yes. is the old covenant yep. is done, done away, away with, with. Mm -hmm. all of it none of that not, nothing is um valid mm -hmm. in the old covenant scriptures so they just follow the new testament and just preach based on the new covenant scriptures mm -hmm. and so we just have to be careful with that because it is all one book and you can't have one without the other not at all. Just can't. Absolutely. There's a lot of prophecies in the old right. covenant scriptures. Right. So, Brother Rashi, Sister Abby, is there a spiritual Israel? Yes. <laughs> but not in the way that you were told. Mm. <laughs> this is what they never told you, family. Mm. So, let's go there. Let's start digging into our scriptures, family. <laughs> if you want to follow along, the moderators will definitely want to put the scriptures in the chat. So, y'all want to follow along that way, but y'all pull out y'all scriptures pull out the word and y'all can follow along with us mm -hmm. so we're going to jump right into it family we're going to start in genesis when we're going to talk about who is israel mm -hmm. how did y'all establish israel where did this come from because I, there's a lot of confusion with that also of people you hear israel all the time oh israel is just a nation well you know that's that's those people mm -hmm. but where did it where were the origins Mm -hmm. A lot of people can't make that distinction. They hear Abram, well, Abraham, well, guess what? Everybody's of Abraham. Mm -hmm. That's what a lot of people think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to see today. We're going to see. Let's see. Let's start in Genesis chapter 17, starting at verse 1, family. Mm -hmm. Genesis 17, starting at verse 1. You want to read that? Mm -hmm. It says, when Abraham was 99 years old, Yahuwah appeared to Abraham to Abraham, and said to him, I am Almighty Elohim. Walk before me and be blameless, and I will make my covenant be between me and you, and will multiply you exceedingly. Mm. Then Abraham fell on his face, and Elohim talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you. And you shall be a father of many nations. Mm. Important. <laughs> it says, and you shall be a father of many nations. Mm -hmm. No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham. Mm -hmm. For I have made you a father of many nations. Mm -hmm. I will name, well, I will make you exceedingly fruitful and I will make nations of you. And kings shall come from you. Mm -hmm. And I will establish my covenant between me and you and your descendants after you mm. in their generations mm. for an everlasting covenant to be Elohim to you and your descendants after you. Also, I give to you and your descendants after you the land in which you are a stranger, mm. all the land of Canaan as an everlasting possession, and I will be their Elohim. Pause right there. So Yah is saying, family, that he's going to give Abraham's descendants the land of Canaan. Now, I covered all of this in the documentary, Joshua to Jesus, where it said that the land of Canaan is modern day Israel family. Mm. So this is the land of milk and honey mm -hmm. that he promised to Abraham, to Moses and all of them, to his the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. So this is what he promised him, his descendants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says in starting at verse nine now, this is what uh, Genesis seventeen, verse nine. Mm -hmm. It says, And Elohim said to Abraham as for you, you shall keep my covenant, 
you and your descendants after you throughout their generations. This is my covenant which you shall keep between me and you and your descendants after you. Mm. Every male child among you shall be circumcised, mm. and you shall be circumcised in the flesh of your foreskins, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and you. This is important, family. Yah saying this is the sign of the covenant, circumcision. I want y'all to remember that. Mm -hmm. That circumcision is important. Mm -hmm. And it, Yah is establishing this at the beginning, family. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see how this is a foreshadow of things to come and what Yah was trying to establish all throughout the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He who is eight days old among you shall be circumcised. Eight and days old. Y'all remember that, family. Eight days old. You must be circumcised. Now, all my men, if we grew up in the, in the Catholic church, Christian church, we remember getting circumcised when we were babies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I still remember... I was a baby, but I remember my mom and them talking about it. Right. That's what they did in the Catholic religion. Right. Circumcised about my little brothers. They all right. got circumcised. Right. So. Right. Mm -hmm. And we did it too. <laughs> you all know, right. Our, our children. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. But. Um, it's he, still practice today. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And it says. Um, it says. He who is eight days old mm -hmm. among you shall be circumcised. Every male child in your generations. He who is born in your house or brought, I mean, bought with money from mm -hmm. any foreigner who is not your descendant. Mm -hmm. He who is born in your house and he who is bought with your money must be circumcised. And my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting oh. covenant. Mm. And the uncircumcised male child who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin, that person shall be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. Then Elohim said to Abraham, as for Sarah, your wife, you shall not call her name Sarah, 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 Sarah mm -hmm. but Sarah, mm -hmm. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, mm -hmm. but Sarah mm -hmm. shall be her name. And I will bless her and also give you a son by her. And I will bless her and she shall be a mother of mm -hmm. nations. King, wow, a mother of nations. nations. Kings wow. of peoples shall be from her. Hmm. So Yah is telling Abraham family that these kings, this nation, the nations will come from her. They will come through her seed. Mm -hmm. Remember, she uh, Abraham had a baby with Hagar. Mm -hmm. Yah saying, nah, it's not going to come through Ishmael. Mm -hmm. It's going to come through Sarah's son. Isaac. Isaac. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it says, then Abraham fell on his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born to a man who is 100 years old? And shall Sarah, who is 90, who is 90 years old, bear a child? And Abraham said to Elohim, Oh, that Ishmael <laughs> might live before you. Then Elohim said, No, Sarah. No. <laughs> no. No. It's coming through Sarah, not Ishmael. Right. Get it right. <laughs> he said, No, Sarah. Your wife shall bear you a son, mm. and you shall call his name Isaac. Mm. I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his descendants after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard you. Behold, I have blessed him, and will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. He shall beg it twelve princes. And I will make him a great nation. Mm -hmm. But my covenant, I will establish with Isaac, mm. whom Sarah shall bear to you at this set time next year. Mm -hmm. Then he finished talking with him, and Elohim went up from Abraham. So Abraham took Ishmael, his son, all who were born in his house, and all who were brought with his money, every male among the men of Abraham's house mm. and circumcised the flesh of their foreskins. 
that very same day mm. as Elohim had said to him Abraham was 99 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh mm. of his foreskin wow oh, 99 years old my family my goodness <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Abraham circumcised himself wow. at 99 years old. Wow. Incredible. Wow. So this is where, where that started. Mm -hmm. And then it says, And Ishmael, his son, was 13 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. Mm. Wow. So even Ishmael had to get circumcised. Right. That very same day, Abraham was circumcised and his son Ishmael, mm. both of them together. And all of the men of his house, born in the house or bought with money from a foreigner, were circumcised mm. with him. So mm. it's pretty much saying all of Abraham's household, all the men were circumcised, whether it was his son, Ishmael, or his servants. Those that he bought, he paid for that was that was under his roof. He circumcised all the males. To do it too. Mm, that was the covenant. Mm -hmm. And mm. said whether he bought them with money from a foreigner. Mm. Mm, he still had to get they circumcised. still had to get circumcised. It's it's almost like a grafting in. Mm -hmm. It's like taking well, not a grafting in. You can say like an adoption. Right. You right. adopt it into the family. And this right. is what you have to do. You have to do this. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's deep, family. So we see that Yah is establishing the covenant with Abraham, and he said it's not gonna come through uh your descendant Ishmael. It's gonna come through Isaac. Mm. So family, we see that Yah is establishing that the seed is gonna come through Isaac. Isaac, and we know that Isaac had two sons, right? Esau and Jacob. And remember the story: Esau sold his, sold his birthright family. He sold it to Jacob. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Esau wanted to kill Jacob because what he did to him. And remember too, uh, Isaac blessed Jacob mm -hmm. and said, "All these things are going to continue through him." He thought that he was Esau. Remember Rebecca. Uh, told Isaac to dress like his brother, put the sheepskin on, the goat hairs on, and all that, gave, fed him the soup, and he said, your father's going to give you the birthright, going to give you the blessings, I mean, because Esau already sold his birthright. Mm -hmm. So, Rebecca and Jacob <laughs> tricked Isaac into him giving him the blessings over Jacob. Mm -hmm. So, that's what happened on that end, and then, as the time goes on, family, Jacob's name is going to change. What will his name Change to. Let's read mm -hmm. the scriptures. Genesis 32, verse 28. Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. Says, and he said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For you have struggled with Yah and with men and have prevailed. So this is where we get Israel from, family. Mm -hmm. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. And we know that he had 12 sons, the tribes, then they became what? The tribes of Israel. But it started with Jacob, his name changes to Israel. Mm -hmm. Right. And how was, when he struggled with y'all, that was the time when his name was changed, yep. right? So for people who may not know that, when was like they were, do you remember that? They, when he was when wrestling? He struggled with yeah, yes, that yeah, birth, he was, uh, <clears throat> let's, let's pull oh. that up. This is yes. Genesis 32, family. This is when this he wrestled with Yah context. for the blessing. Mm -hmm. He's like, Yah, you're going to bless me. I'm not letting go until you bless me. Mm -hmm. And this was a time when he had fled from, uh, from Esau. Esau wanted to kill him because mm -hmm. he tricked their dad, Isaac, into giving him the blessings. Uh, this verse what? has started at 28. So 28, so there. let's look at, let's read 22. Mm -hmm. says, that night, this is Genesis 30, 32, starting at 22. That night, Jacob got up and took his two wives with two female servants and his 11 sons and crossed the four of Jabbok. After, and crossed. And crossed mm -hmm. the four <laughs> of the Jabbok. I guess that's a river or something. And he had sent them across the stream. He sent over all his possessions, so Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him till daybreak. When the man saw that he could not overpower him, he touched the socket of Jacob's hip, so that his hip was wrenched as he wrestled with the man. 
Then the man said, let me go for it is daybreak. So they was resting all night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Jacob replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Mm -hmm. The man asked him, what is your name? Jacob, Jacob, he answered. Then the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob. It says Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with Yah. And with humans and have overcome. Hmm. Verse 29, Jacob said, please tell me your name. But he replied, why do you ask my name? Then he blessed him there. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, verse 30, so Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, it is because I saw Yah face to face, and yet my life was spared. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Wow. So this is how his name was changed to... We know it's Yashua, y'all, mm -hmm. but Israel, according to the, well, this Bible mm -hmm. in English. But, yeah. Wow. So, that's the story, fam. That's how we got to Israel. Israel. The Israelites, the 12 tribes, mm -hmm. Jacob's children, 12 sons, mm -hmm. they became the 12 tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, they went to, uh, they began to multiply, and it was in Egypt. And... This is when they became, Yah said, I'm going to make y'all a special people. I'm going to mm -hmm. make y'all a nation. Let's see how Yah chose Israel. Mm -hmm. Exodus chapter 6, verse 7. You want to read it? It says, I will take you as my own people, mm -hmm. and I will be your Elohim. Then you will know that I am Yahuwah, your Elohim, who bought you out of, who bought you out from under the yoke of the Egyptians says, I will take you as my own people, family. We know who he took out, he freed out of slavery, out of each, uh, who he took out of Egypt, the Israelites. He's talking to the Israelites, family. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6, it says, For you are a people, says holy, but set apart to Yahuwah, your Elohim. Yahuwah, your Elohim, has chosen you out of all the peoples on the face of the earth. To be his people, his treasured possession. Hmm. Family, Yah saying he's, he chose Israel out of all the peoples on the face of the earth. He made them special, family. Some might say, well, what happened with Deuteronomy 28? Hmm. Well, just continue to keep listening. <laughs> just continue to keep listening. Because mm -hmm. we'll see. The, are they still Yah's people or is it a new Israel? Right. Is it a this? Is the church Israel? Is mm -hmm. church the spiritual Israel? Mm -hmm. Hmm. We're going to find that out, family. Bear with us. We have to lay the table. We have to set the table first before we, we eat our full meal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Exodus chapter 19, verse 6. We have another scripture. You want to read that? It says, You will be for, a, for me a kingdom of priests and a set-apart nation. Mm. These are the words you are to speak to the Israelites. To who? To the Israelites. Mm, they will be a kingdom of priests and yeah. a set apart yes. nation. So Yah saying these Israelites, they're going to be a nation. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's what it says. It says, yeah, yeah. So they're going to have a nationhood. Hmm. Remember how we were saying that race is not important, but nationality is? Mm -hmm. The nation that they come from, that's important. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's look at another scripture. Psalms. We we saw we lay in our family that Yah chose Israel. He set them apart. Mm -hmm. Those were His people, mm -hmm. Israel. Psalms chapter one forty seven, verse nineteen through twenty. It says, "He showed His word unto Jacob." Remember, Jacob's name is what? Israel. Hmm. His statutes and judgments on to Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. Mm, so he never dealt with any other nation. He chose to show his judgments, his statutes to Israel family. Mm -hmm. They have not known have not known them. Praise ye Yahuwah. Mm. Mm. You want to read that next verse? Isaiah chapter 14, mm -hmm. verse 1. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 
chapter 14, verse 1. It says, For Yahuwah will have mercy on mm -hmm. Jacob. Oh, we know it's Jacob mm -hmm. with a Y. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, gotta, we have to do this sometimes. But um, yes, for Yahuwah will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel, mm. which is Yahshua and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Mm. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Which is Jacob. Mm. Jacob. Mm -hmm. So it says, For Yahuwah will have mercy on Israel. Jacob. You could say Israel because uh -huh. Jacob, we just established his mm -hmm. name was changed to Israel. That's mm -hmm. the line of the, that's his, his seed. That's the people he chose. Mm -hmm. And will yet choose Israel. So that's saying, all the stuff that they did, the stiff neck that they had, all the wickedness that they were doing, he yet he will still choose Israel, family. And have mercy on them. You can go and read Isaiah 14. We said this a while. Just, go, ahead. go ahead. No, we said this a while back while you hear you hear some people say that, you know what? Hey, y'all, y'all the ones did wrong. Y'all lost mm -hmm. y'all blessings. Mm -hmm. That that's not our fault. Y'all saying, yet I'm going to still choose them regardless right. of all the stuff that they did. Right. I will still choose Israel. And have mercy. He never forgot about them, family. Them. He never forgot about the people he chose. He never forgot about the covenants that he established mm -hmm. with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob yes. family. Mm -hmm. And it says again, and set them in their own land. Because mm -hmm. remember... Israel is scattered abroad right now. We established that last week. Mm -hmm. They are scattered all over the four corners of the earth. Mm -hmm. He said, and we'll set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Mm -hmm. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. We like to say Israel because mm -hmm. that's really what it represents. Mm -hmm. But this is what it's saying. This is prophecy, you all. Mm -hmm. Let's keep reading. Psalms uh, chapter 33, verse 12. Blessed is the nation whose Elohim is Yahuwah, the people whom he had chosen for his own inheritance. Mm. Who's his own inheritance, family? Mm. Let's look at the next That's verse. Right. It's going to tell us. Okay. If we have any confusion of who's Yahuwah's inheritance, who did he choose? Deuteronomy 32, starting at verse 7. You want to re read that? It says, Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask your father, and he will show you. Your elders, and they will tell you. When the Most High divided their inheritance to the nations. When he separated the sons of Adam. Mm -hmm. He set the boundaries of the peoples according to the number of the children of Israel. Mm. For he, wow. He says he set the boundaries of the peoples according to the number of the children of Israel. Mm. Mm. For Yahuwah's portion is his people. Mm. Jacob, but they say Jacob here, what we're reading from mm -hmm. the English, but Jacob is the place of his inheritance. Wow. So we can say for Yahuwah's portion is his people. Israel is the place of his, his inheritance, inheritance. Because every time you see Jacob, it's referring to Israel. Yep. Remember, Psalms just said, he had, Psalms 33, 12 said, he had chosen them for his own inheritance. This is what Deuteronomy is saying. Israel is the place of his inheritance, family. Right. Israel is Yah's people. Yes. That is firmly established, yes. family. We cannot get around that. Mm. Yes, it says he found him in a de uh, he found him in a desert land, mm. a des yeah desert land, mm -hmm. and in the wasteland, a howling wilderness. He encircled him, he instructed him, he kept him as the apple of his eye. 
the apple of his eye, family. Now this is throughout scripture. You hear mm. this? We just reading this these this scripture in Deuteronomy, but mm -hmm. in other places it talks about Israel being the apple of Yah's eyes, Yahuwah's eyes. So it says he kept him as the apple of his eye, as an eagle stirs up its nest, hovers over its young, mm. Mm. hovers. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. hovers over its young, mm -hmm. spreading out its wings, taking them up, carrying them on its wings. Mm -hmm. So Yahuwah alone led him, and there was no foreign God with him. So there was no foreign Elohim with him. Mm -hmm. Wow. Said Israel is the apple of his eyes. Family, he protects them like an eagle hovers over its nest. That's deep, family. So Yah really loved Israel. He protected them. Mm -hmm. What was it we read earlier where it said, regardless of what they did, he, mm -hmm. yet he still chose them. Mm -hmm. He's still going to choose Israel. Mm -hmm. And we have to remember that every single thing that Yah is doing is for him, for his esteem mm -hmm. in the end. It's going to be to esteem Yah. And so this is why he's going to make sure that, look, Yes, people may have forgotten mm -hmm. my, right. my my children, Israel. Right. And yes, they may think that I'm done with them. Mm -hmm. But in the end, I'm going to show my power through them. Absolutely. And we're going to continue to keep reading so you can see that what we're saying yeah. is scripture. Family, y'all hold y'all thoughts, hold y'all comments, and we land the table, mm -hmm. setting the table of... Showing that Yah has not forgot his people. Yah right. has chosen Israel. Mm -hmm. Because again, you was just saying how a lot of us, we forgot. No, I forgot when I was in religion. Yes. We, we didn't really what? talk about this. Israel. First of all, I would have think Israel was with what everybody what we were exactly the Exactly. People, you that's know. there now. That's there now. Mm -hmm. That's what we were taught. Right. And that's, and I've shared this before in the past. I used to send money to them all the time. It was it was consistent, you know, giving to them because I really thought they right. were, you know, mm -hmm. I, that's who I thought was Israel. Mm -hmm. So that's why we often say like, you know, something is often, it has to be a hard thing when you have people who has an issue with the truth now that it's coming forward mm -hmm. with who Israel really is. That says a lot about a person's heart. Absolutely. Because why is it, you know, was why was it okay when we thought the other way and we was like, oh, I want to give to them. Mm -hmm. Y'all's chosen people. Right. I and it was no problem. Right. We felt sorry for them. We love, And we ain't asking for that. And what we would say, but, too, would be like, the whole world is against them. That's how right. they promote it, man. Everybody hates them. Right. So we got to support them. And we got to, I mean, love the, the, the children right. of of. God, which mm -hmm. was, which is what we called him before, it was no problem for us. None, none. We wouldn't worry about race. We didn't what? think that we they didn't was see better. Race. We didn't think that they was better than us. No, that's God's chosen people, and that's it. Right. We let's support them. Right. No. That's static. it. There's no question. No asked. question. No smoke. No nothing. Right. <laughs> and I want to say we we continue to say mm -hmm. it. These when we speak that way, it's only for those who have an issue with it because we have already uh, established and seen it and know that it's not everybody in the walk mm -hmm. that feels that way from mm -hmm. other nations. Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. Yes, fam. We're talking about what they never told you about spiritual Israel. We land a foundation that Yah chose Israel. Now, this was a... Here, we're talking about physical Israel, family. He's talking about a bloodline. He made covenants with them. He said the seed, the promise is going to come through them. It's going to come through Isaac. It's going to come through Jacob. He's talking about flesh. Hmm. Flesh and blood. <laughs> now, these are prophecies. Mm -hmm. These are prophecies. Uh, let's continue reading. Isaiah chapter 2. This is one of the prophecies. Let's read that. Mm -hmm. Isaiah, Isaiah right. chapter 2, starting at verse 1. You want to read that? Yes, it says, The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Yahuda, mm -hmm. when it has Judah here, and Yerushalayim, which it has Jerusalem, you mm -hmm. all. Um, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of Yahuwah's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills. 
Mm. And all the nations mm. shall flow unto it. And who? And all the nations shall flow unto it. Mm. And many people shall go and say, Come, you, and let us go up to the mountain of Yahuwah, mm. to the house of Elohim, to the, no, to the house of the Elohim of, of Jacob, you got Jacob, who we said, to the, Israel. to the house of the Elohim of Israel, mm. and he will teach us his ways, and he, I mean, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law. Mm. And the word of Yahuwah from Jerusalem. So family, the prophet Isaiah is saying in the last days, all nations are going to go to Yahuwah's mountain. Mm -hmm. And they're going to go up to up that mountain to the Elohim of who? Israel. The Israelites family, yes. Israel. Yes. So all these nations are going to go to the El Elohim of the Israelites family mm -hmm. again make a, is he that we know he's the Elohim of all right mm -hmm. but that doesn't discount who, meaning he created, right, he created everybody. everybody he created everybody <laughs> that's everybody. what we're saying right. but that's he still he made distinctions and this is what we're laying out that mm -hmm. he made a distinction that I chose these people mm -hmm. above all nations right. these people are the apple of my eye mm -hmm. now with, with all of that <laughs> Even that y'all did that, and y'all say I chose y'all. What happened with the Israelites? Mm. They were still stiff necked family. Mm -hmm. Didn't see the 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 treasure that was in their lap. Mm -hmm. They still wanted to do what? Rebel. Ch rebel. Chase after the gods of the world, mm -hmm. which y'all didn't. Y'all say didn't he say that I set y'all apart? Mm -hmm. I want y'all to be set apart from the world. Yes. I made y'all a peculiar people. A special people, mm -hmm. you're not going to take on the ways of this world. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that too is what we see family now, especially in the church. We don't see no difference be between the church and the world. No. It's even worse now. We don't see no difference. Mm -mm. No. But we say we follow in the scriptures. And that's why so many people are coming out of church. Because they don't see no difference. Right. And y'all say he wants us to be set apart. Yes. He wants us to come out of the world. Mm -hmm. Come out of her, my, my people. My people have mm. that relationship with Right, mm -hmm. right. But what I was just saying, that the Israelites, stiff necks, had the treasure in their hand, had it in their lap. We talked last week about all the curses that Yah put on them for not obeying right. His commandments, what they was going to go through, what they would suffer. And what we're trying to say, family, what the Scriptures were saying, when what Yah was trying to tell them from the beginning is that I'm trying to tell y'all through these laws that this is spiritual. Mm -hmm. Y'all so much focus on, I'm, I'm going to go do a sacrifice. But you're doing it wickedly. What, two weeks ago we talked about how they kill Yahushua during Passover? During Passover. And Passover don't mean nothing to me. Because mm -hmm. look how your heart's still wicked. Right. You're going to kill my son during Passover. It's how I'm going to honor your feast. Mm. How will y'all honor that? And that's what Yah was trying to get them to understand from the beginning, family. Let's look at that. Deuteronomy chapter 10, starting at verse 16. Let's read that. What Yah was trying to establish to the Israelites. Mm -hmm. It says, Circumcise your hearts, therefore, and do not be stiff-necked any longer. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so this was in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, family. Old covenant. Scriptures. Old covenant. Y'all talking about circumcise your, your hearts. hearts. Now, is that a new thing, you all? If you've been studying scriptures in the old covenant scriptures and new covenant scriptures, mm -hmm. is circumcising the heart a new thing? Why are they talking about it in the old covenant? Because a lot of people mm -hmm. say, no, nah, that's, that's old. That's New Testament talk. <laughs> exactly. Transform your heart. That's New Testament talk. Yes. No, but they're saying it in Deuteronomy. Circumcise your hearts mm. and do not be stiff-necked any longer. Mm. Wow. Mm. Y'all was trying to get them to understand something. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 4. Mm -hmm. Circumcise yourselves to Yahuwah and remove the foreskin of your hearts. O men of Judah, mm -hmm. Yahuda, 
and people of Jerusalem. Otherwise, my wrath will break out like fire and burn with no one to ex to extinguish mm -hmm. it because of your evil deeds. Mm. This is in Jeremiah. Again, wow. old covenant old scriptures. Covenant. Circumcise yourself to Yahuwah and remove the foreskins of your hearts. Hmm. So remember, hmm. when we read in Genesis, when he told Abraham, y'all y'all need to get circumcised. So this is going to be the covenant. This is going to be a sign of the covenant. But really what I'm trying to get y'all to understand is that I want y'all to circumcise your hearts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all need to circumcise your hearts. This thing is spiritual. Mm -hmm. Because y'all not understanding. Y'all still acting wickedly. This is what the Israelites. This is mm -hmm. the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He says, circumcise your, yourselves to Yahuwah and remove the foreskins of your heart. Mm. And we're going to see what he's talking about when he's saying circumcise your heart. Mm -hmm. What he's actually saying. Let's read another one. Jeremiah 9, chapter 9, verse 26. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 26. Egypt, Judah, Edom, Ammon, Moab, and all the inhabitants of the desert who clip the hair of their temples. For all these nations are uncircumcised, and the whole house of Israel is uncircumcised in heart. Mm. Y'all saying y'all just like these other nations. Mm. And I told y'all to separate yourselves from among them. Mm. 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 Y'all no different from them because y'all heart are not circumcised. Y'all right. don't understand the spiritual things I'm trying to tell y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't understand it. Y'all don't get it. Again, in Jeremiah, mm. this is Old All Covenant Old Scriptures covenant. again, talking about that heart, mm -hmm. that circumcising the heart and the uncircumcised heart. Hmm. So that heart been talk they've been talking about the heart since the old covenant scriptures. Yep. Yep. Nothing new Nothing under new the sun. Under the sun. I'm trying to teach y'all these spiritual things, but no. Y'all don't get it. So y'all say, you know what? Y'all don't understand? Hold on, I'm gonna do something new. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna create something totally new. Mm -hmm. And it's it talks about it in Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. Chapter 31, starting at verse 31. You wanna read it? It says, Behold, the days are coming, says Yahuwah, when I will make a new covenant mm. with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Mm. Yahuda, mm -hmm. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. My covenant which, which they broke. Mm. Though I was a husband to them, says Yahuwah, mm. but this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says Yahuwah, I will put my law in their mm. minds and write it on their, their hearts, hearts. Mm. and I will be their Elohim and they shall be mm. my people. No more shall every man teach his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, No, Yahuwah, mm -hmm. for they all shall know me from the least of them to the, the greatest. greatest of them, mm -hmm. says Yahuwah, for mm -hmm. I will forgive their iniquity and their sin I will remember no more. Mm. Hmm. Deep, family. Deep, Yah is saying... Y'all not listening? Y'all don't understand? He said, I'm going to do a new thing. He mm -hmm. said, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers mm -hmm. in that day, my covenant which they broke. So remember, he made that covenant with Abraham mm -hmm. to say that, you know what? Y'all circumcise y'all foreskin. This is the covenant. This is the sign of the covenant. But he said, I'm going to make a new covenant. Mm -hmm. This is what I've been trying to teach y'all all along. He said, this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. Who are you going to make it with? The house of Israel. He said he's going to make a new covenant with the whole world. The house of Israel. He's That's what he said. still talking about Israel. It's Family, it's he's still Israel. talking about the house of Israel, even though they broke all his law. They didn't keep the covenant. They broke the covenant. He said, I'm going to make another covenant, not with the world. I will make it with the house of Israel after those days. 
I will put my law in their minds mm -hmm. and in their hearts. Mm -hmm. mm. That's the family. That, that goes back to the circumcised, circumcising their hearts. Because mm -hmm. y'all y'all don't get the way like what Yahushua said. Mm -hmm. Y'all y'all focus on things that's that's not important in the law. Y'all not focus on right. the weightier of things. Right. Mm. right. Y'all not focus on the spiritual things of the law. Right. And speaking of Yahushua, this is where a lot of the confusion comes in, family. When we jump into the New Testament. Because we just read, family, all throughout Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Y'all said it's about Israel. That's my people. Mm -hmm. I love them so much. You know what? Even though their fathers broke my covenant, I'm going to make something new. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to make a new covenant with them. Yes. So that they can get it right. He, mm -hmm. That's a merciful Elohim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yahoo is so merciful, family. He could have been gave up on us. Yes. Think about it, family. Because... And some of them, he said, I'm, I'm done with them. Mm -hmm. But he still said, I'm going to choose them. <laughs> That's how mad the Hallelujah. Israelites made them, right? But he said, I'm going to still make a new covenant with them. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this is where the confusion starts, family, because a lot of people think, you know what? New covenant throughout the Old Testament. Now it's all about the New Testament church. New now, Israel. Right. Now is the spiritual Israel. Mm -hmm. Now is the spiritual Israel, but is was this something that Yahushua was teaching? Did he see. understand something about a spiritual Israel? We gonna see. Because that's some of the examples that we hear, and that's some of the things that we've heard. Mm -hmm. That you know Yahushua, he taught something different. Mm -hmm. He did teach something different. Mm -hmm. He did come to say, you know what? This walk is, y'all need to focus more on the spiritual. Mm -hmm. Remember when he said, if you have uh, have hatred for your brother in your heart, you're already committed murder? Yes. That sounds like that's spiritual, right? Yes. If you're already lusted after that woman. In your heart. You you've already, already committed, committed adultery. adultery. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So it seemed like he's speaking spiritual things. Yes. A lot of it was spiritual things. It was a matter of the heart. Because right. Because those things like... That's a matter of the heart. If you got your heart right, you're not going to have to worry about doing the physical mm -hmm. acts. Absolutely. So, again, that's where all the confusion comes from because Yahushua, he was preaching spiritual things. So, mm -hmm. he's teaching spiritual. Israel, they done away, done away with. So, that, it's not about them no more. So, now... You're saying that's what they say. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. they say. Israel, they done away with because they couldn't... Yah didn't... done. Y'all tossed them aside. Mm -hmm. Now it's about the new church. Mm -hmm. So now it's a spiritual Israel. Right. People making that type of connection. Right. But that's like saying, when, when we do stuff like that, family, that's like saying, all right, you know what? The, the ocean is blue. Mm -hmm. The sky is blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have something in common, right? Mm -hmm. They both blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that means I could call... The sky, the ocean. Hmm. They both blue, right? Hmm. And I can call the ocean the sky. Right. That sounds like confusion. No, it's, it's, it's similar, but they two, <laughs> they two totally different, different. things. Mm -hmm. They have something in common, but they're not the same thing. Right. And that's kind of how we have to look at it, family. Mm-hmm. Would you want to say something? No, I just no. Mm -hmm. I, I actually forgot what I wanted to say, but I'll just say you all just mm -hmm. hang on in there with us to the end because mm -hmm. we still have some other stuff to cover because we never got to the other nations yet. Right. And that's where we we are about to go. And it, it's important too because um, not only about the other nations, but when we speaking about these things, is and we said it last week, it's not to say. One is better than the no. other, or one nation is unique than the other. No. We're going strictly from the yes. scriptures, family. Right. That's what we're doing. We just said it earlier. When we was in church, when we was in religion, it was no smoke. It was no sweat when we thought that that was the true Israel. Right. We just did it with no problem. Right. We never looked at it as, oh, we inferior. They better we than never us. Looked at no, it like that's that. just, that's God's people. Yes. So we respect them. Right. So that's all it is. And, and what we're saying, too, is mm -hmm. that. Yah had order, family. Yes. Yah is an Elohim of order. Mm -hmm. 
And that's what we're saying. So there's going to be order throughout all of this. Yes. Even in the kingdom. Even and in we, the kingdom. We're going to read that. Yes. We're going to read that. It's mm -hmm. going to be order. And we just have to be careful. Um, and again, we know it's not everyone, mm -hmm. but we have to touch on these things because as we said before, we get heat, you know, when it comes to both sides. Mm -hmm. And the sad part about it is when people come and make you feel like who you supposed to be and be quiet and this is our fate and this is our, you know, like just mm -hmm. taking over something and just look and, and still coming with that superiority right. mindset. And this is the thing that we, you know, like as believers and look, not just the superiority mindset, those who are coming with that, oh, you're going to be, um, we're going to be, well, I hate to even say that mm -hmm. some of the stuff that's being said out there, but mm -hmm. like, I'm just saying like the harsh comments and racist comments towards right. our brothers and sisters who are of the, uh, Gentile nations, mm -hmm. like that's not okay. Neither. None of it is no. okay. And this is the part that we're trying to, you know, we're trying like to bring balance, it together and right. bring a balance to it. Mm -hmm. Because none of it is okay because they are going to be our brothers and sisters in the kingdom. Yes. And now they are considered, they say, love them as ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so we have to be careful on both ends. Absolutely. Because those who are boasting in the branches. Mm. Woe to you. Don't write. That's the <laughs> best way to you. put it. That's the best Woe way to put to it. to you. Um, no, but we're talking about the the New Testament family when Yahushua, he comes upon the scene. Did he teach something different? Is the New Testament something completely different because Yahushua was talking about spiritual things? Did that mean that he forgot about Israel and is he's teaching something different from what the prophets were saying? Mm. Well, family, if we look in the, the first book of the New Testament, that's Matthew First chapter, it talks about Yahushua's genealogy. Now, Brother Rashia, what's important about his genealogy? What's important about his genealogy, family, is this, is that it ties to the prophecies about him, his coming. Mm -hmm. The Israelites were expecting a Hebrew Messiah, an Israelite Messiah. Yahushua was an Israelite Messiah. Mm -hmm. He wasn't a Messiah for the whole world, family. He was, he came for, and we're going to read the scriptures. He came for the Israelites. Mm -hmm. But Brother Rashi, the scriptures say, don't debate about genealogy. Don't, don't get caught up in all that. If y'all read that scripture in context, family, it's talking about a person that's being contentious, mm -hmm. a person that's dividing. Mm -hmm. When we look at genealogy at, at this current time, we're doing it because the history has been erased. Yes. It's not to debate and to contend and right. say this one better than that one. It has it's to, to affirm the history. Right. That's why we doing it. Because we supposed to, as we continue mm -hmm. to say, the scripture says that the true worshipers will worship, yes. will worship the Father in spirit and spirit. Yes. And those are the worshipers who the Father is seeking. And so why is it we're going to go in the scriptures and y'all is showing us all these things and we're going to just cover it up and mm. say, no, we're not going to share it. Because we don't want to. Because we don't want to offend. Mm. But how offensive is it to his children when they find out who they are mm -hmm. and how their history has been erased? Right. And and now we have to come back and try to fix it. Mm -hmm. You know, like like to show the people who are still in darkness. Some of our um, the lost children of Israel who are still in darkness to show them. Look, look who you are. Many mm -hmm. of them are coming to y'all. With that message. And some of the other nations, the Gentile nations, are coming to y'all too mm -hmm. with that message because they are saying mm -hmm. our fathers have inherited lives. Right. You know, so it's on both ends. Mm -hmm. And it's really a message to draw them all to y'all. But some is going to be humble and some is not. And that's, we are just seed planters, as we often say. But we desire to worship in spirit mm -hmm. and truth. Absolutely. So let's talk about Yahushua family. Did he teach something different? Was he just a, a, a messiah to the whole world? Or did he come for certain people? Did he align with prophecy? Let's look at two, Luke chapter 2, verse 21. Luke chapter 2, verse 21. You want to read that? It says, And when eight days were completed for the circumcision of the child, hmm. his name was called Yahushua, <laughs> which was the original. Mm-hmm. Hebrew ivory name mm -hmm. original 
<laughs> God, we got to say that. Because mm -hmm. some people say, well, when we look in the Bible, we see Jesus. Yeah, we still see that well, to this, till this day. Right. How could his name be Joshua and, and, or Jesus? And it's, We know it no, wasn't Joshua. It wasn't that's, but Joshua connects us to the original name, which right. was Yahushua. And, um, well, we already got his brother Rashad's documentary mm -hmm. on all of this about the name. So we don't want to do a whole name teaching, mm -hmm. but it's, it was Yahushua. Right. So his name was called Yahushua, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> it says, and when eight days were completed for the circumcision of the tower, mm -hmm. wasn't that in Genesis 18 mm -hmm. with, uh, I mean, 17 with Abraham? Mm -hmm. Remember it said Abraham, the, uh, well, what did it say that on the eighth day? Let's see. About the circumcision? Uh, mm -hmm. This was, uh, this is not seven? It's not seven? And I will establish my covenant yep, between Yep, on 12, on verse 12. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's 12. Yep. Genesis 17, 12, when we read it earlier, it says, oh, okay. He who is eight days old among you shall be circumcised. Wow. So Yahushua got circumcised on the eighth day? Mm hmm Continuing with the customs and the traditions of the Israelites? Well, he Amazing, back right, then, right? Hebrew, right, right, Hebrew. right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we know that the Israelites had the custom <laughs> as well. It continued through it them. Continued mm -hmm. through them. So, wow, he's continuing in the same thing. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. And there are some other things too. Remember when he he was missed? They went. Uh, what they went to the temple or something? And his mama thought he ran away, and they had to go back and find him. And he was in the temple teaching. Mm -hmm. Yahushua did a bunch of things that was uh, according to the customs and to mm -hmm. the traditions of the Israelites. Mm -hmm. He did a lot of those things as as a kid mm -hmm. and a young man. Right. Let's look at another verse, John chapter four, starting at verse twenty. You want to read that? It says, our fathers worshipped on the, on this mountain, and you, Jews, say that in Jerusalem is the place, well, it to say Jews, mm -hmm. Yahudis, mm -hmm. but it says Jews in English, say that in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. Yahushua said to her, woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem mm -hmm. worship the Father. <laughs> You worship what you do not know. Mm. We know what we worship. Mm. For salvation is of the Yahudi. What? And it says Jews. Mm. But we know that's not the correct term. But anywho, mm -hmm. that's what the English says. But Yahushua was saying it. The for salvation is of the Yahudi. Yahudis. Mm. Says, but the, Who's the Yahudis? Israelites. Mm. <laughs> We can say they're the Israelites, right? And the, mm. Yes, and the, pretty much the um, Jews. Well, not the Jews. I didn't want to say that. The, mm -hmm. um, what is that word I'm trying to say? Well, where did that say? He that? came from the line of Judah. Yep. Yeah, came so I was trying to, I was Judah. looking for mm -hmm. Judah. Yes. But um, it says, but the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. Mm. Mm. See, <laughs> the word itself, yep. that's his dabby yep. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. Mm. Elohim is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. What? We have to worship in spirit and truth. And this is right after this, where it was saying, where He said, for salvation is yes. of the Yahudis. Mm. So, then He says after that, worship in spirit and you truth. You have to worship in spirit and in truth. You can't have one without the other. And He's Yes. So this is where we get the spiritual Israel. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. he's saying salvation is of the Yahudis. Mm -hmm. He's understanding that. Now, is, or is he saying the Gentiles don't have a shot? Is nope. that what that's saying? Because no. we're going to read that, yes. And we read last week, too, where it said the Gentiles, they have their way it to come clear. in. It, it is, is very clear. clear. The scriptures make it plain. So, but we're saying this to say, family, that Yahushua, he established that he had came for the Yahudis. Mm -hmm. the Israel, well, let's read. Let's read mm -hmm. this other scripture. Matthew 15, starting at verse 
21. Matthew chapter 15, verse 21. I hope y'all understanding this, family. Y'all getting something from this. Right. What they didn't tell you about the spiritual Israel family. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're diving into the meat of everything. And mm -hmm. we're going to touch on those scriptures too, where they get this concept of a spiritual Israel. Mm -hmm. Because I know some of you, y'all want to put it in the chat. Y'all want to put it in the comments. What about no Jew or Gentile? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to touch if on it's that. Not, if somebody didn't right. already put it, <laughs> we're not looking nope. in the chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But let's cover this one because this one is important. Matthew chapter 15, verse 21. Then Yahushua went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O master, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cried out after us. Hmm... So we can take from this family that this woman is running up to Yahushua saying, I have a woman who's possessed. I have a demon-possessed daughter. Can you please heal her? But mm -hmm. the disciples are like, nah, she been after us. She's she not one of us. Don't, don't, do, don't even answer, uh, Messiah. Mm -hmm. Don't even deal with Yahushua. Mm -hmm. Y'all listen to Yahushua's re response. Verse 24 it says, But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, family. Was he sent to the world? It says the lost sheep of the house of Israel mm. right here. Did it say a spiritual Israel? This is what Yahushua was saying. He the said, lost sheep the of lost the sheep house of Israel. Of Israel. Mm -hmm. mm. Which, continue with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll bring it all together. <laughs> Now, what's important is, is, is the woman's response and, and what she understood. That goes back to what we were saying when, when we sat in church and we, under, we had the understanding that, you know what? Those people, that's, that's God's people. Mm -hmm. The woman said this, family, verse 25. Then she came and worshiped him, saying, Master, help me. But he answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread. Who's the children? Israel. It is not good to take... Israel's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, master, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Mm. Then Yahushua answered and said to her, O oh woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. Mm. And your, her daughter was healed from that very hour. Mm. Mm. So the woman understood, family. No, master, I am not of Israel. But can I please just get some of what you have? And look at her <laughs> Can humility. you please, yes, heal my daughter? Yes. She was humble, family. She was humble, and Yahushua, he, he healed her daughter. And I want to say this, too, mm -hmm. that everybody in this walk should be humble. Absolutely. So this, this is not to say, oh, yes, this is how it should go. We all should be humble. On both ends. And we say this all the time because the scripture says, unless you become as little children, you will not inherit the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So us all, we all have to become humble. Because let me tell you something, pride, pride oh, in yes. who we are, or pride in superiority, trying mm -hmm. to be superior over, over Israel and all of this stuff. Let me tell you something, that is a trick from the adversary. That is a trick from mm -hmm. the adversary. Yahuwah is going to restore things. Mm -hmm. He said to let him. He said vengeance is his. Yes, vengeance is mine. So we have to let Yah do his work. And at the same time to open up our hearts to our brothers and sisters who are coming into this walk. I'm mm -hmm. talking about our Gentile nations who are coming into this walk with a pure heart. And who are humble in this. Because there are plenty. You know, mm -hmm. there's some who's not. We see the pride. But that's between them and Yah. Mm -hmm. We can't make people do anything. All we can do is bring forth truth and walk in love. And at the same time, too, we'll just, I mean, be seed planters. Mm -hmm. And that's all we can do. Let me ask you this. Would, would how Yahushua responded to the lady, would that be considered harsh today? Hmm. <laughs> Somebody now, some people would have called us. I mean, say if somebody, if like if one of us would have said something like that, it would have been like, you racist. Yes. 
yes. What? Yes, why are you calling Think me Think about name? that. What would people have been calling Yahushua yes, today? Yes, if he would have said that. From other nations by him saying that. Right. What would they have said? Right. Let's think about mm -hmm. that. But look what this lady said. Humbled herself. She's like, yes, master, I know. I am not of Israel. How many would have mm. done that today? She, why didn't she respond and say, but, but master, I'm spiritual Israel. Hmm. But Yahuwah said, Yahushua said, woman, great is your faith. She believed in him. Mm -hmm. So that was the, the humbling part. Yes. She's like, yes, I'm not of Israel, but I yes. still believe. And she still mm -hmm. had respect yes. for his people, mm -hmm. his brothers and sisters, those who he, who he was saying that he came yes. for. Yes. She still had respect for that. Mm -hmm. She wasn't like. You racist, are you? I mean, just imagine her daughter would have never got exactly. healed. Exactly. So we have exactly. to be careful with this. Mm -hmm. We have to be careful. Absolutely. So we established in family that Yahushua, he wasn't teaching anything different. He knew who he came for. He came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, aligning with the Old Testament, saying that Israel is still Yah's chosen people because mm -hmm. he sent the Messiah for who? Israel. Israel. Hmm. You, Israel. You're not going to hear that, family. And we know um, Israel, they um, rebelled the entire mm -hmm. time. They rebelled here, too, even with on the Passover for yep. Yahushua. We know all of these things, too. We, we don't blame nobody but our own exactly. nation. It's our fault. It's the mm -hmm. nation's fault. And we get it. Yes. But everything is happening, has happened, and is happening mm -hmm. for Yah's will to be done. Mm. Every single thing. The rebellion. Yes. The, like us coming into captivity. Mm -hmm. Yah's going to restore some things. And so we have to take that into consideration. Mm -hmm. It will be restored. Mm -hmm. But we know that we rebel. Because uh, the reason why I'm saying that because we hear that too. Right. That's not our fault. Uh -huh. You yeah. you shouldn't Don't blame have, me. Y'all should you ancestors that. shouldn't have rebelled and mm -hmm. this and this and that. That is true. Mm -hmm. But that's just like saying to the to the Gentile nations. That's just like saying your your ancestors shouldn't have done what they've done. Mm -hmm. You know. So we have to be careful in what we say. We sometimes we say things and we're not even really thinking about it. The thing is, us rebelling against Yah was not right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he cursed the nation for it. We're dealing right. with it. <laughs> right. But none of it was right. Mm -hmm. How about that? None of it was right. Right. So it's really about just now understanding this truth, repenting for the, for the sins of our forefathers, mm -hmm. and getting our hearts right and doing this thing right while we have a chance to. Right. Absolutely. On both sides. All sides. All sides. All nations. All nations. All nations. All nations. Because Gentile is all nations outside yes, of Israel. Yes, non-Israelite. Oh, uh, let's look at another one. Did did the people of that time, did they understand who Yahushua came for? Or was he Messiah to the whole world? Or he was a Messiah to the spiritual Israel? Mm -hmm. And that's what we're talking about, family. What they didn't tell you about spiritual Israel. Mm -hmm. Mark chapter 15, verse 26. You want to read that? It says, And the superscription of his accusation was written over the king of the Yahudim. It says Jews. This was when Yahushua was, was crucified, and they wrote they wrote this on the... Yahudim. Yep. Mm -hmm. They wrote this on the, the stake, mm -hmm. that he was the king of the Yahudis. Yes. King of the world. It says Jews, but we know that's not the right term. Why but, did it say king of the nations? <laughs> That's not what it says, and it's telling us where his line came mm. from. The line of Yahuda, mm -hmm. which you know in the English it'll say Judah. Judah. Mm -hmm. But this was Yahushua's line. Mm -hmm. This is this is the ones who are here in America scattered, who came on this on the on the, the, the ships, the slave ships out mm -hmm. here. This is this is a lot of Judah out here in the south and scattered abroad. This mm -hmm. is this is Judah. <laughs> this is his line. Yahuda. Absolutely, family. So we have that established that Yahuwah, Yahushua was not teaching anything different. He came for the loss, for the sheep of the lost 
the lost sheep of the house of Israel, Israel family. That's who he came for, family. He wasn't teaching anything different. What he was telling these lost sheep was that, you know what? Mm -hmm. Y'all had the fleshly covenants. Mm -hmm. Y'all didn't get it right. Right. Y'all have to circumcise y'all's heart. Right. Y'all have to understand the spiritual aspects of this. Right. This is the spiritual Israel that we're talking about, mm -hmm. family. This is what they didn't tell you about spiritual Israel. Mm -hmm. Yahushua was talking to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. The scripture said it. We just read it. Yes. He came for Israel. He was an Israelite Messiah. Mm -hmm. That's who he came for, family. But Paul... Paul is the apostle to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Paul established a lot of the, they say churches, the assemblies. Was Paul teaching something different? <laughs> Did Paul say something completely different than Yahushua? We gonna see. Did he talk to other people besides the Gentiles? We read a lot about Paul last week, so... But there's a spiritual Israel now that we have to discuss. So is, did he address specifically spiritual Israel? Let's talk mm -hmm. about it, family. Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles. He definitely said something about a spiritual Israel. Yes. <laughs> he definitely said something, family. Romans chapter 9, starting at verse 3. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Mashiach for my brethren. Hmm. This is Paul, family. Paul saying he wished that he was a curse from Messiah for his brothers. My kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are what? Who are Israelites, to whom pertained the adoption and the esteem and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yah and the promises, whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Messiah came. Mm. So this goes back to all the things that we just read, family. Paul is saying his brethren is the Israelites who the covenants, the giving of the law, the service of Yahuwah, and the promise it was given to them, to the fathers. And Messiah who came in the flesh, Messiah came for them family mm -hmm. came for spiritual Israel mm. he said his brethren was the Israelites flesh and blood Israelites family mm. that's what he said my kinsmen according to the flesh according to the spirit he said according to according the flesh, to the flesh who are Israelites so old covenant to the new covenant Yahushua and Paul is establishing the same thing, family. Mm -hmm. And we read, we're going to read it again. How this is the law, the covenants. We read the covenant was to Abraham. Mm -hmm. Then it went through to Isaac. Then it went down through to Jacob. Mm -hmm. And it continued through the 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. We're not seeing nothing about a spiritual. We're going to read those scriptures, family. It's about the spiritual Israelite. Because I know a lot of you got them. What about this one? Well, we're going to talk about it. Let's look at Philippians chapter 3. Did Paul say something different? Philippians chapter 3, verse 2. You want to read that? It says, Beware of the dogs. Beware of the evil workers. Beware of the mutilation. For we are the circumcision who worship Elohim in spirit. Mm. What? In what? Mm. For we are the circumcision who worship Elohim in spirit. Who's the circumcision? We knew that the sign of the covenant was what? Circumcision. With who? Israel. Mm. So it says, For we are the circumcision who worship Elohim in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Rejoice in Yahushua and have no confidence in the flesh. Though... I, well, again, the flesh, did what, what we said, it's a spiritual thing, a circumcision of the heart now. Mm -hmm. So the yep. flesh, remember, was a physical circum exactly. circumcision. Yep. So it says, who have confidence, wait, who, <laughs> verse, the, four. verse mm -hmm. 4, it says, though I also might have confidence in the flesh, if anyone else thinks he may have confidence in the flesh, 
I more so mm. circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel. Wow. So Paul was circumcised. Why he keep bringing that up if he's he's focused on a spiritual Israel? He was circumcised too on the eighth day. That's what he mm. said. He said, I more so circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, Israel. Mm. of the tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin. Mm. A Hebrew of the wow. Hebrews concerning <laughs> the law. A Pharisee. This is Paul talking, family. He was a Pharisee. Paul was a Pharisee. Everybody keep making the same distinction about Israel. He said a Pharisee concerning mm. zeal, persecuting the assembly. Mm -hmm. It has church, but we know we that he's talking about people, mm -hmm. the people. Concerning the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things are gained to me, these I have counted lost for Mashiach. Wow. What? So he's saying all these things, all these fleshly things, What? just what Yahoo was saying. Mm. Don't put confidence in that flesh. Don't put confidence in mm. that flesh. He even said, he said that I counted for nothing. Hmm. And he said it was perfect, right? Yep. But he says, but what things were gained to me, these I have counted lost for, Mes for Messiah. Yet indeed, I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Messiah, Yahushua, mm. for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish mm. that I may gain Messiah and be found in him, mm. not having my all own righteousness. righteousness. Yes. Isn't that the righteousness that the Israelites were trying to do? Was trying to have having their own righteousness. Their yep. own righteousness. What he talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. Not having my own righteousness, which is from the law. Yes. But that which is through belief, faith in Mashiach. Yes. yes. The righteousness which is from Elohim by faith, by belief, mm -hmm. that I may know Him in the power of His resurrection, and the fellowship of Wow. You hear that? That mm -hmm. I may know Him. And mm. the power of his resurrection. That is deep. Mm -hmm. In the power of his resurrection, <laughs> this is how we are resurrected. Because mm -hmm. it says in the power, remember the resurrection, those things came after Yahushua, as after he died and was resurrected. Mm -hmm. So this is the purpose of him, because it says he was the firstborn of the dead. dead. Yes. So it says, um, that I may know him and have the power of his resurrection mm -hmm. and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. If by any means mm -hmm. I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. Mm -hmm. This is deep family. So we want to be resurrected through Mashiach. He's how we get to Yah. Yes. We need Yahushua. We need Yahushua. <clears throat> and I mean, Paul, this is Paul speaking, family. Paul said, I'm the stock of Israel. I got circumcised on the eighth day. I'm a Hebrew of the Hebrews. But he said, that's all for nothing. That don't mean nothing to me. I lose it all for Mashiach. Yes. And that's the importance, family. That's what we have to understand that, yes, Messiah, we all... We have to go through Messiah, like what yes. Sister Abby I just said. We all grafted into Messiah. We Mashiach all Yahushua. grafted in. Paul is saying it. Hebrew of the Hebrews. Yes. He's saying I'm even grafted in through Messiah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I have to go through him. Yes, for his resurrection. Yes. Yes. For his resurrection. But notice what he's saying too. Does that this? Because somebody say, you see, that's the spiritual Israel. I all I have to do is believe on Messiah. Mm. But we read how Paul laid it out in the beginning. He laid out his bloodline, how that was important. Well, they have more. They, they have, have more, more scriptures. But it's, why is he pointing that out? Mm -hmm. That he's a Hebrew of the Hebrews. Mm. That he was an Israelite. Mm -hmm. There's there's something about that, but they keep bringing it up. Right. Keep but he made up. an important point, that, and that's something that we all can't forget, that it's because of Messiah. That's yes. how we get yes. to Yah, through him. Yes. Mm -hmm. So really, if you think about it, this right here, what Apostle Paul was talking about, this mm -hmm. was the very thing that they was preparing 
the Israelites yes. for in the old covenant yes. scriptures. It was yes. for Mashiach's coming. Yes. It's for the circumcision of the hearts. Mm-hmm. This is what Yahuwah have been trying to tell them from the, the beginning. Right. The whole time. Because mm-hmm. this it would this would be the way to get to I mean to, this would be the way to get to Yah. Mm-hmm. Through Mashiach. Right. We had we have to come through Mashiach. Right. This is how we are grafted in. And so this kind of goes back to the Roman scripture where it talks about us being um grafted in when yes. it says the the natural branches could be grafted back in but it's through Mashiach mm-hmm. we can be grafted yes. back in yes this is what this was all about mm-hmm. this is how we get grafted back in through Mashiach yes. by faith in him not developing our own righteousness saying mm-hmm. we doing everything perfectly in the law but we don't have belief and we don't have the spiritual aspect of it mm-hmm. and the circumcised heart. Right. That's our spiritual Israel family. That's the spiritual Israel. <clears throat> it's not that, oh, everybody's Israel now. Because again, remember I said that earlier, family. Yah is an Elohim of order. Yes. We read last week where the order that's going to be in the kingdom, right? Mm-hmm. That's important, family, and the order that was throughout the scriptures, throughout the old covenant, where certain people was going to go through different things. They were going to suffer. Judgment was going to be for certain people, mm-hmm. and they had judgment on the Israelites too, right? Mm-hmm. Yah is not sparing anybody, right? <laughs> He's not sparing anybody. But what about those who might say, "Well, you're saying this, it was the spiritual Israel, but isn't this, um, isn't this, wasn't he talking to the Gentiles here?" He was talking to the Gentiles here. In, in Philippians, where we just read. They might have some where when mm-hmm. you say this is the spiritual Israel, like, can you kind of like expound more on it? You know what I'm saying? That might say, well, wasn't right. he talking to the Gentiles? So what, why wouldn't they be a part of the spiritual Israel? Because this telling, is what he was telling to he's, them. He's telling the Gentiles, y'all coming in, just like what you said with the grafting in, y'all coming in through mm-hmm. Messiah. That's y'all entry into it. Mm-hmm. Y'all have to come in through Messiah. But remember, even though you're coming in through Messiah, Paul still said, do not boast do against the not branches. Boast against the branches. Mm-hmm. That's your entryway into the kingdom. Mm-hmm. This yes, accepting Yahushua. Mm-hmm. Accepting the Messiah. But remember when we read, read last week too, it said the foundation is on the apostles, mm-hmm. the prophets. And the cornerstone is Messiah. Mm-hmm. We just read that he says, Yah wants worshipers who worship in spirit yes. and truth. And what's happening, family, is this. People want to knock out the Israelite, the real Israel. Mm-hmm. We don't need to go through. We just need a Messiah. I, I showed the example last week. All I need is the Messiah. All that other stuff, I don't need I don't that. need the prophets. Uh-uh. I don't need the Old Testament. Mm-mm. I don't need what they did. Mm-mm. All I need is the Messiah. Mm-hmm. That's Christianity, family. Mm-hmm. That's Christianity. We're going to throw out all the old covenant mm-hmm. and just say everybody is spiritual Israel now. Even though Yahushua said he did not come to destroy the law and the prophets, he came to fulfill it. He came yes. to complete everything. Yes. Let's see. Paul talks more about this. Let's mm-hmm. talk about it some more. Let's see. That's going to answer your question, what you just asked, too. He mm-hmm. gonna... Romans chapter 1. Verse 11, start there. You want to read that? It says, For I long to see you that I may impart to you some spiritual mm. gift so that you may be established. Paul talking about spiritual, spiritual things. Say the spiritual mm. gift. So he want to give the Gentiles a, a, a spiritual, spiritual gift. gift. Okay. A what's, gift? That, what's that spiritual gift? Let's see. He's saying, I want to give you a spiritual gift say that, so that you may be established. Mm-hmm. What is that spiritual gift you want to give the Gentiles? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's keep reading. Chapter, I mean, verse 12. You want to read that? Mm-hmm. So it's cha- what? Cha- Romans 1, verse 12. Starting at verse 12. Mm-hmm. That is, so this is that spiritual gift you mm-hmm. are. That is that I may be encouraged together with you by the mutual faith, both of you and me. Mm-hmm. Now, I do not want you to be unaware brethren Mm -hmm. that i often planned to come to you but was hindered until now that i might have some fruit among you also Mm -hmm. just as among the other gentiles i am a debtor both to the greeks and to the barbarians Mm -hmm. both to the wise and to the unwise 
So as much as is in me, I am ready to preach the good news to you who are in Rome also. Mm, he's going to preach the good news, the gospel. Mm -hmm. He says, for I am not ashamed of the good news of Mashiach, mm -hmm. for it is the power of Elohim to, to salvation. Wait, 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 family, wait. He said, for it is the power of Yah to salvation for everyone who believes. Mm -hmm. So those that believe on Messiah, mm -hmm. that's their entry. To, that's the power of Yah to salvation. Yes. So listen to this next part, family. You see, that's the spiritual Israel. That's the spiritual Israel right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's keep reading. Mm -hmm. It says, for I am not ashamed of the good news of Messiah, for it is the power of Elohim to salvation for everyone who believes. Hmm. For the Yahudim, hmm. it has Jew, first. Who? For the Jew. Well, <laughs> I'm going to say Yahudim. <laughs> mm -hmm. For the Yahudim first. First. And also for the Greek. Y'all remember how I was saying there was order family? There is order in all of this, family. He's, Paul is saying, for the Yahudi first, for the Hebrew first, Israelite first, then also for the Greek. Mm -hmm. This is aligning with everything. What this, this, is, this is what we say, family, all the time. We everything has to um, align with the whole narrative of the scripture. Everything. We cannot take out one verse and say, you see. That's what it means. And no, flip it upside down to mean what we want it to mean based on feelings. It has feelings. to be it has, based on exactly, what the scriptures is plainly exactly. telling us. Exactly. It has to align with the prophets, the Messiah, the apostles, and Revelation. They have, from Genesis to Revelation, family, it all have to line up. And we've established it all throughout that Yah had established Israel. He chose them as a peculiar people. They was a special people. They were the apple of his eye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So and this is throughout scripture. All throughout scripture, family. And he's saying for the other nations, the Gentiles, yes, you can come in through Yahushua. This is your entryway in. But nope, Yah has not forgotten about the Israelites. There's order, family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are we at? Let's read. Uh, let's read with James. Let's look at James. James, again, this is all New Testament, family. Are they all saying spiritual Israelite? Okay. Are they talking about flesh and blood Israelite? Let's look at James. It says, James 1.1. 1, 1. Mm -hmm. Chapter 1, verse 1. James, a servant of Yah, and of the master, Yahushua Messiah, to the 12 tribes in the dispersion. 12 tribes. This is in James. New Testament. This is in James. James. Isn't James like... Should be James. Should James should be the... It? It's one of the last books of the Bible, family. <laughs> so this towards the end. Towards the end of scriptures, family. This is James talking about the 12 tribes in the dispersion so let's look at that definite what's the dispersion brother rashia let's look at the strongs strongs number 1290 the greek number 1290 definition is a dispersion israelites in gentile countries mm -hmm. so that james is talking to the 12 tribes that scattered abroad mm -hmm. He's talking to the 12. James still talking to the 12 tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. But I thought they was done away with. It's about the assembly now. It's about Yahushua's church. Mm -hmm. Well, we seen Yahushua say, I came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. James is saying, I'm speaking to the, the 12 tribes, <laughs> the 12 in, tribes the in the dis dispersion. Mm hmm. And then the you, hmm. and then it further goes on to say scattering abroad of of seed mm -hmm. by the sour, hence dispersion uses especially of the Yahudim, mm -hmm. the Yahudis who had migrated and were scattered over the ancient world. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them who were scattered, which is absolutely what this is. Scattered so, is right. Let's jump into some of these verses where I know a lot of you that's there in your mind. 
Well, this verse means it's a spiritual Israel. So let's let's look at some of these key scriptures, family. Let's let's talk about them and break them down. Let's look at let's look in Galatians first. Galatians chapter three, starting at verse twenty six. You want to read that? It says, "For you are all sons of Elohim through belief in Messiah Yahushua. For as many of you as were baptized in Messiah have put on." Messiah. Hmm. There is neither Yahudi hmm. nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. Hmm. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Yahushua. Hmm. And in you and in you are Messiah's. Then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Hmm. You see, Brother Rashi, it says there is neither no Jew nor Greek. Does that mean that there is no order? We talked about order all throughout this lesson. We just read a while ago where he said to the Yahudi first, then to the Greek. That doesn't mean that there's no order. He's saying that we're all one in Messiah. Mm -hmm. We're all a part of that body. That's, that's the same example as this when it says husband and wife married to become one flesh. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that there's no order between husband and wife? Hmm. Who's the head of the wife? The husband. Who's the head of the husband? Mashiach. Sounds like Messiah. order. Sounds like order, huh, family? Mm -hmm. Y'all think about this. If Okay, we're all spiritual Israel now. Well, we read last week that there's going to be a difference in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. The 12 tribes of Israel, they're going to judge the other nations, right? Mm -hmm. So if we're all spiritual Israel, who gonna, what other nations are they going to have? Because all the nations could be spiritual Israel, right? Right. Why did they distinguish like in the New Testament scriptures, mm -hmm. like what we just said in the New Covenant in, in Revelations? Why would they break it down? Which we gonna we're going to talk on, about. Mm -hmm. on. I want to say something to mm -hmm. what we just read. And we think about abraham mm -hmm. because i've heard that too you know because they say it if you it says you are abraham's seed right because there's neither mm -hmm. what it says for as many as you as um it says for you are all sons of elohim yep. through belief in messiah Hushua, which is all of us yep. um israelites and also our um other nations other, the other nations mm -hmm. our sisters and brothers than the other nations mm -hmm. but it says um for as many of you as were baptized into Messiah have put on Messiah. Mm -hmm. And there is neither Yahudi nor Greek. Mm -hmm. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male mm -hmm. nor female. Mm -hmm. For you are all one in Messiah Yahushua, which is true because we all grafted in through, through uh -huh. Mashiach. So we're one, right? But then it says, and if you are Messiahs, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to promise. Now, I heard people say, you see, Abraham, mm -hmm. we're part of, so we all, that's where they, uh, some of them get the uh -huh. spiritual Israel uh -huh. from too, from Abraham. Abraham, yes. Right. But, you remember what it said at the beginning about Abraham? It said Abraham would be the father of many nations. Yep. It did tell us he would be the father of many nations, right? Ishmael had a nation too, right? Did the promise come through Ishmael, family? Mm, that's where I was going. Did it come through Ishmael? That's where I was going. Right, mm, right, right. Abraham. I mean, Ishmael is a seed, seed of Abraham, but he didn't get the promise, family. It's about who got the promise, you all. This is what this mm, is. This is, mm. we have to, everything have to align. Mm, everything. Mm. Line upon line, precept upon precept. Yes. Here a little, there a little. Mm. So we can't just take one verse and just say, bam. <laughs> this is what it is. Uh -huh. That's not how it goes. Abraham is the father of many nations. That is the truth. Mm -hmm. But it still tells us at the very beginning that there will be a certain one that has the promise. Mm -hmm. And that will come through the line of Jacob, which is Jacob, you know, in mm -hmm. English. So, which is Israel? Mm -hmm. Israel, which we established, you all. Absolutely. Let's let's cover another one. Uh, Romans 15, 24. You want to read that? Mm -hmm. Starting at verse 24, it says, whenever I, so, uh, whenever I journey to Spain, I shall come to you, for I hope to see you on my journey. Mm -hmm. 
and to be helped on my way there by you. If first I may enjoy your company for a while, but now I am going to Jerusalem, Yerushalayim, mm -hmm. to minister to the saints. For it pleased those from Macedonia and Achaia to make a certain contribution to the poor among the saints who are in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. It pleased them mm -hmm. indeed, and they are their debtors. For if the Gentiles have been partakers mm -hmm. of their spiritual things, mm -hmm. whoa, <laughs> you remember that? It says, if the Gentiles have been partakers of their spiritual things. We were just talking about the spiritual things that Paul was addressing mm, when he was seeing. Yeah, I'll bring you a spiritual gift. A spiritual mm -hmm. gift. Mm -hmm. So this right here is telling us, it says, for if the Gentiles have been partakers of their spiritual Who's things. Who's there? Who's there, family? Of their spiritual things. Israelites. Israelites. Mm -hmm. Their duty is also to minister to them in material things. Mm. Therefore, when I have performed this and have sealed to them this fruit, I shall go by way of you to Spain. But I know that when I come to you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the good news of Messiah. Mm -hmm. That's deep, family. And you see, that means spiritual Israel. <laughs> no. <laughs> we just kind of broke it down where he's saying... Well, you remember he talked about the spiritual gift family. Gentiles, okay, y'all partaking in this, and, and there is Israelite Messiah, their Hebrew Messiah. Y'all enjoying the benefits of right. it. Right. So guess what? And then and when we read this in context, Paul is telling the Gentiles, you know, y'all benefiting from their spiritual things, the Israelite spiritual things. So y'all need to support them too. Being grafted in yes, Messiah. Yes, being grafted in Messiah. <laughs> yep. So y'all need to support them in material things. Mm -hmm. So, come on, y'all got to help them out. They need help. He's talking, he's telling the Gentiles, y'all need to help help out the saints in Jerusalem. Right. With y'all material things. Not just in the right. world. Not just, y'all just taking. Y'all, oh yeah, we, we, we accept the Messiah. Mm -hmm. So, we get to come in the kingdom too. Mm -hmm. No, Paul's saying, y'all got to help out too. Help up, help out the saints in Jerusalem. Wow. Yes. That's deep, family. That's deep. Deep. Mm -hmm. Um, let's look at another one. Ephesians. This is another one that people say. Spiritual Israel. See? Mm. Ephesians 2, 2, chapter 2, verse 19 through 22. Now, therefore, you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of Elohim. You see? Mm -hmm. That's spiritual Israel. There's no longer strangers and or foreigners. Mm -hmm. But you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of Elohim. Hmm. Yeah, but there's verse 20, family. You got to keep reading. Hmm. Having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Yahushua HaMashiach himself being the chief cornerstone in whom the whole building being fitted together grows into a set-apart temple in Messiah, mm. in whom you are also being built together for a, pl a dwelling place of Yah in the Spirit. Mm. Mm. Again, that's they grafted mm. into Messiah. Messiah. Mm. But you are fellow citizens with the Israelites. Mm -hmm. You are fellow members in the household of Elohim. Does that make you on the uh, better than them? That's saying you have an entry into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make you better than them. That does. Because remember, Paul wrote, what was it, Romans 15? Mm -hmm. When he said, don't boast against the right. branches. Now, this is for those that we mm -hmm. continue to say that bo that do boast against the branches. This right. Is what this, is, this is what we're referring to here. I think it was Romans 11 when he, when he talked about not boasting against the branches. It, yeah. yeah, Romans 11, Romans family. So... Would he be he would he say something to say he telling them not to boast against the branches now he gonna double back and say you know what y'all just like them mm -hmm. why would he do that family mm -hmm. he always made a distinction again right. what we said everything has to align family and why would he say the branches mm -hmm. why would he say that like we gotta make it make sense like this is what the word is saying 
So this purpose here is, is just to just cut up all that the falsehoods and mm -hmm. the things that's being like per, that's being preached out here that is not true. Right. This is not what the scriptures are saying. Like that a, a spiritual Israel is every is the whole church is right. everybody. Mm -hmm. The scriptures we not we don't see this in the scriptures. We we reading and rereading and it's like where is it right. saying this? Where right. is it saying this? And we never we've never seen anything that says spiritual. Israel family. We never seen those two words together. And we're now, not even done. We're right. Gonna, you're gonna see some other stuff too where you're gonna be like, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, now I get, what, 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 I get it, family. I, I get, get it. it. That's enough. I get <laughs> it. But what Paul is saying, family, in this in Ephesians two, I want y'all to think about this example. He's telling them, but you Gentiles, y'all are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of Elohim. Think about if you were adopted. Thinking of an adoption family. Mm -hmm. You are adopted into the family, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make you better than the blood-born children? Mm -hmm. That's still, you can come there and say, you nah, you know what? I'm better than their, but they have blood-born children. That's theirs, flesh and blood. Now I'm better than them. Mm -hmm. No, I appreciate that they adopted me, right. accepted me in. They treat me like family, like I'm one of theirs. And we're going to read the scripture where it says that um, they share in the inheritance of the Israelites mm -hmm. because they're attached to the Israelites. Right. They're going to share in the inheritance. So as you're adopted, if you're adopted into the family, mm -hmm. you're in a great family, you can share in that inheritance. Right. You think that family going to mistreat you because Not you attach family. yourself? Yeah, a good family. Right. You think they going <laughs> to mistreat you? Well, number one, in the kingdom, there's no wickedness that, that can take place in, in the front of Yah. So no when people are talking about all this crazy stuff that's, that's going to happen, happen in the kingdom, it's just, no, Yon, wickedness Yon's not, no wickedness is going to be, exactly, it's not going to take place in the front of no. Yah. It cannot be in Yah's presence. No. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be no mistreatment. Right. And Yah is also the father of, of not just the Israelites, but also the other nations. Mm -hmm. So we want to make that clear. We understand these things, mm -hmm. you all, and we, we understand that we are sisters and brothers too. Right. We are sisters and brothers. So we're not trying to say no to that. Mm -hmm. We are. Um, but at the same time too, when we're talking about a, a spiritual Israel and trying to like cut off the nation of Israel yes. and the purpose of Israel, mm -hmm. then that's when we become an era. And again, we're going to show it through scriptures mm -hmm. continually that that is not scripture when we say these things. Mm -hmm. It's just not. It's just not. Absolutely. Let's let's look at another one. Romans chapter 2. This is a good one. This is one that we hear a lot of. Verse, chapter oh. 2, verse 28. You want to read mm -hmm. it? It says, for he is not a Yahudi, which it has Jew, Jew. Mm -hmm. who is one outwardly, nor is circumcision that <clears throat> which is outward in the flesh, which we, we already established. Yep. But he is a Yahudi who is one inwardly, and mm -hmm. circumcision is that of the heart. Now, we read that all throughout scriptures. This is what Yah wanted. This is what he was trying to establish with the Israelites. I will circumcise your, your heart. hearts. Yes. This is what he said about is, the Israelites exactly. in the Old Covenant Scriptures. Yep. It says, And circumcision is that of the heart, and in the spirit, mm. not in the letter. It's spiritual. Yes, <laughs> spiritual. In the spirit, not in the letter, whose praise is not from men, but is from Yah. Mm -hmm. Verse 28. Yeah, verse 28. Mm -hmm. Okay, Romans 2, verse 28. For he is not a real Yahudi who is only one outwardly, mm. nor is true circumcision something external and physical. We've been establishing yep. this. Yep. But he is a Yahudi who is one inwardly, and true circumcision is circumcision of the heart by the spirit, not by the fulfillment of the letter of the law. His praise is not for men, but for from yeah from mm -hmm. Elohim mm -hmm. this is deep family this is Paul and again people say you see this is spiritual Israel because Paul is saying one is not a Jew outwardly but he's one inwardly what that's saying family is think about Judas mm -hmm. <laughs> think about Judas family 
And the ones that murdered our machine. Yes. That, that helped murder him. This is what Paul is that and this is what we've been saying. That outward stuff, that that don't fool nobody. Yah's looking at that heart. This is what Paul is addressing. Mm -hmm. Yah is looking at that heart. That don't mean nothing because you got the fringes, you 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 got circumcised. How many Israelites did Yah chop down mm -hmm. because of their wicked hearts? Because of their wickedness. Y'all remember when in, in Exodus when Yah opened up the ground and swallowed those uh mm -hmm. those people that was rebelling against uh Moses? Mm -hmm. They is there was Israelites. Yeah. It was Yahudis. <laughs> what about the scripture saying all Israel is not Israel? Yes. That's what yes. they were talking about. Mm -hmm. Not all Israel is Israel. What it says, the children of promise. Mm -hmm. It is the children of promise. It's a remnant. Right now we are dealing with the remnant. This is what's going on in these times. Mm -hmm. It's the remnant that's being grafted back <clears throat> into the fold. Those Absolutely. who were lost. Mm -hmm. So this is the purpose of why we do what we do too. Is to wake up the remnant. But at the same time too. Even our Gentile nations. Our Gentile brothers and sisters too. Mm -hmm. Them as well. Because believe it or not. Many of our Gentile brothers and sisters have to be careful. Because some of them I'm talking, I'm not, of course, not all. We know this because a lot of people, we have people who follow this ministry who mm -hmm. are not, doesn't have that mentality, mm -hmm. you know, and we, they understand what we're saying, but we're talking about those who are boasting, right? boasting against the branches and walking right. in pride. Mm -hmm. Like this is, this is also a message for them too, to be careful, right? Be careful because that is not the way that is a trick by the adversary because mm -hmm. we often say we have to be able to understand that this is not about, well, we're going to say it again, um, like the color of right. our skins. Mm -hmm. Who made it about race is people who created yes. race, okay? Yes. So, yes, it does exist because they created it, mm -hmm. and we can't ignore that fact because if it didn't, this wouldn't have happened with Mashiach's appearance right. and his identity and the, right. the identity of the Israelites. Mm -hmm. it, wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been something that where they destroyed. You know, they erased it mm -hmm. if, if it didn't exist. But we know that's a trick by the devil, by the mm -hmm. adversary. At the end of the day, it's about the nationalities. And it's about us coming together as one. Mm -hmm. And humility on all ends. All of us. Absolutely. As little children, because we will not enter mm -hmm. the kingdom unless that happens. Mm. Absolutely. So that's, that's what Paul was talking about, family, when... Because, again, he didn't say spiritual Israel. He's talking about, the it's heart. about that heart. It's about that heart. And, again, he wrote this in what? This is Romans 2? This is. Yep, this was Romans 2, family. Remember, we didn't even get to Romans 11 when he said, don't boast against the branches. So how could he say it's a spiritual Israel, then later on write in another chapter that you can't boast against the branches? He couldn't be talking about a spiritual Israel. Then, then he gonna write a whole chapter about not boasting against Israel. <laughs> Think about Think it. about that, family. Why would he do that? And why would he say? Why mm -hmm. would he make a distinction and says say? I mean, talk about entering into the what is it? What is, does it say about the branches? Isn't it the natural branches? Oh right. Mm -hmm. Why uh, would he say that? I don't remember I what. Forgot. We had read it last week too, family. So uh, much in here. But it was a natural? Huh? What is it, the natural branches he mm -hmm. said? Look, look, it says, the belief were broken off, and you stand by faith. Do not ha be haunted, but fear. Mm -hmm. For if yep. Elohim did not spare, spare the, the, yep, natural, the natural branches, uh -huh. he may not spare, spare you, you either. either. Yep. So why would he make a distinction and say that, and say, therefore, consider the goodness and severity of Yah mm -hmm. on those who fell. Who fell. Mm -hmm. This is Romans 11, yep. y'all, verse 19 what what well, we on 23 right now mm -hmm. but and they also if they do not continue in unbelief they say they also mm -hmm. who do not continue in unbelief will be we grafted, grafted in, in. yeah for elohim is able to graft them in, in again. again talking about israel you all is telling us israel. in the word yes yes so let's jump to revelation family let's jump to revelation where we're going to see that, just like we were saying earlier, family, if this was talking about a spiritual Israel, they definitely would have talked about a spiritual Israel in Revelation, in times, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They would say that, okay, this is yep. a spiritual Israel. 
Definitely. Hmm. Let's look at that. Well, let's look okay. at the let's look at the prophecy first with Isaiah. What was Isaiah saying? Okay. Isaiah sixty, starting at verse ten. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. These talking about the Israelites. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. So the Gentiles won't come to the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Through the gates. And their kings brought for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Verse 13, the glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. Verse 14, the sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all that they despise, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee. The city of Yahuwah, the Zion of the set apart one of Israel. Mm. It's talking about Israel again, huh? Mm -hmm. Verse 15. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Mm. So he's saying he's going to make Israel an eternal. Eternal. Wow, eternal. What's that? Mm. Forever. Forever. <laughs> Forever Did he say I will make a spiritual Israel an eternal excellency? It's talking about Israel, right? You, a joy not, of not many generations. Here, right here in Isaiah, it talked about Israel and it also spoke about the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. well, this was in, Is in Isaiah. But Revelations 2. It it kind of it, it actually confirms you can say mm -hmm. Isaiah in Revelations. Yeah. Yep. Revelations. But this is important too when you just said about the Gentiles. Now, if yeah. if Gentiles are spiritual Israel Israelites, what's gonna be the difference? Because we all gonna be spiritual Israel, right? Mm -hmm. How is that lining up, family? Mm -hmm. If spiritual Israel is everybody. Right. Mm -hmm. I wanna say something too. Mm -hmm. Um uh, I've heard we've heard this a couple of months back where somebody asked a question about um, Gentiles and well actually they were saying that um, they were talking about they were Gentile and you know like just they were actually speaking nice mm -hmm. uh, you know towards Israel and we had someone else who was of the Gentile race who mm -hmm. commented and said um, I wouldn't want to be called that name a Gentile. Mm -hmm. Once you uh, once you receive the faith, you are you um you are now Israel. You are Israelite. That's what that's what they were told that they were Israelite. And we just want to say this: it's important to understand that Gentile doesn't always mean heathen. Right. A heathen can mean heathen. It can be pagan, mm -hmm. like um, pagans, and it could also mean nations. Mm -hmm. Gentile just means nations, any other nation outside of the Israel, nation of Israel. Right. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't always have to be a derogatory, you know, like, oh, right. if you hear Gentile, that mean I'm a pagan, that right. mean I'm a heathen. Uh -huh. That's not, I mean, it just means that you are from that nation, right. from that line, mm -hmm. because you all, the scriptures, we keep reading it, that it does um, show lines it shows nations right it's just nations and we're gonna about different nations. go back in in revelations to confirm mm. the prophecy in isaiah that we yes. just read to you all let's in isaiah 60 right, right let's look at that Re revelations chapter 21 we're gonna start at verse 12 family where it's gonna fulfill the prophecy that was spoken of in isaiah 60 you want to read that it says and had a wall great and high and had 12 gates hmm and at the gates, 12 angels and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Wow. This That's is Revelation, fam. This is in time. 21, 12. Revelations. It says, and had a wall great and high and had 12 gates 
and at the gates 12 angels mm -hmm. and names written thereon which are the names of the 12 oh. tribes of the children of Israel spiritual Israel of the children of Israel hmm so Yahuwah from Genesis all the way to Revelation family it keeps singling out Israel mm hmm Nothing about spiritual. Mm. Spiritual Israel. There's a lot of spiritual in the scriptures. But it's He's family, that's what we're talking about. Yes. We can't take one thing and say, you know what, that means that. Again, that's like the that's like a blue ocean. Calling the ocean the sky, calling the sky the ocean. Mm -hmm. Cause they, they similar. Because they both blue. Because they both blue. We can't do that, family. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing here. They keep making a distinction. The scriptures and this is revelation. Teach. Exactly. The the church is the spiritual Israel. Remember that doctrine family is a Christian doctrine. Yes. That's to remove again, the history has been removed. We all know that. That's to separate you know what? Nah, we don't need Israel. We our own church. We the we we God's people. Mm -hmm. We God's people, the church. The New Israel Testament. Israel no yes. longer matters. Israel no longer well, matters. Well, they even say that because they feel like it's well some some, some do, it depends, some, right? Exactly. Right? It depends. Exactly. It depends. Exactly. So we gotta think about when we're saying these things. But let's continue reading Revelation 21. We're gonna drop down. We're gonna chop the chapter 21. We're gonna drop down to verse 21. So this is going to be uh, chapter 21, verse 21 through 27. Mm -hmm. And it says, starting at 21, 12 gates. Mm -hmm. it says in the 12 gates, remember we just read about 12 gates. With the 12 tribes, right. the name on them. Mm -hmm. And the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Every several gate was one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein. For Yahuwah Elohim Almighty and the Lamb mm. are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, mm. neither of the moon to shine in it. For the esteem of Elohim, of Yah, did lighten it. And the Lamb is the light thereof. Mm. Wow. And the nations of them which are saved shall call, shall walk in the light of it. Wow. The nations of them that are saved. Mm. This is important. I remember what I just said about the nations, about when, when it comes to Gentiles, yep. that it's also sometimes it's nations. It says, and then I'm going to show you that too. We're going to, we're going to show that, mm -hmm. show you all that in a few, but it says in the nations of them, which are saved shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth do bring their esteem and honor into it. Mm. And the gates of it shall be shall not be shut at all by day. Goes back to Isaiah 60. Mm -hmm. For there, there shall be no night, n no night there. And they shall bring the esteem and honor of the nations into mm. it. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth. But you just said that. Just said there's no wickedness. No that's wickedness going to be there in the presence of Yah. No. Mm -hmm. It so it says, and there Listen shall. Listen to this, family. <laughs> there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever work it abomination, mm. or make it a lie. But they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. So it's nothing going to defile the, the New Jerusalem. It's nothing that worketh abominations. Mm -hmm. Nothing that makes a lie. Mm -hmm. None of these things, fam, is going to be allowed in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. right. So again, like we said earlier, all of those that saying all this, we're going to do wicked things in the kingdom to people. Mm -hmm. That's that's not that's not scripture. Right. <laughs> That's not scripture. Right. It don't go that way, family. Right. Oh. Uh, nah, this is deep. You had that other scripture you want to read too about Revelation when it talks about the nations. Yeah, I'm gonna to do too, it when I do this here. Mm-hmm. Because right, what you was gonna say? What, 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 what is it? No, when we was talking about nations, the nations is saying, family, it's gonna be other nations. Right. 
Right. Those that are saved, and we read all throughout the New Covenant when Paul said how he was saying that, okay, the Gentiles can come in through this way. Who's grafted in through Messiah. You wanted me to read it now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to read Revelations. It's chapter 7, mm -hmm. 4 through 10. And it says, And I heard a number of the sealed, 144,000, mm -hmm. sealed from every tribe of the sons of Israel. Still talking about Israel. Still Revelation. About Israel. We read mm -hmm. this last week too, but we're reading this again for a reason. To show you guys something. Mm -hmm. But it says 12,000 from the tribe of Yahuda, They got Judah. Mm -hmm. Were sealed. 12,000 from the tribe of Reuben. 12,000 from the tribe of Gad. 12,000 from the tribe of Asher. 12,000 from the tribe of Naphtali. 12,000 from the tribe of Manasseh. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those names, I tell you. 12,000 from the tribe of Simeon. 12,000 from the tribe of Levi. 12,000 from the tribe of um, Asakar. 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 Mm, Ishakar. Ishakar. Mm. 12,000 from the tribe of Zebulun. 12,000 from the tribe of jo Joseph. It has Joseph here. Mm. 12,000 from the tribe of Benjamin were sealed. And then it says after that, it says, After this I looked, and behold, a great, multitude mm -hmm. that no one could number from every nation mm -hmm. from all tribes and peoples and languages languages standing before the throne and before the lamb mm -hmm. clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands and crying out with a loud voice, salvation belongs to our Elohim mm -hmm. who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Mm -hmm. Now the reason why we, re we read this to you all because we just read again. We talked about this last week. Mm -hmm. They named the tribes. Now this is Revelations, New Covenant Scriptures. They named the tribes. Mm -hmm. This is, they say 144,000 sealed. And they were from these different tribes of Israel yep. that we've been talking about the entire time. Remember, it said a spiritual Israel, right? But they naming the physical, the physical bloodline, the tribe. nations, mm -hmm. the nations. These are the nation the of Israel. Right. And the 12 well, tribes. the nation mm -hmm. of Israel, I was right. trying to say, not the nations, but mm -hmm. the nation of Israel. Right. Like you said, the you know, because mm -hmm. it's nations. People, it, yes, not not. It doesn't. It's not going to be black and white in the kingdom, mm -hmm. but it's nations, right. tribe of Israel. That's the nation of Israel, right? And then it says, after this, I look. That's after they don't mm -hmm. name all of the different tribes, right? And behold, a great multitude that no one could number from um, every, every nation. nation. What it says that? It, what it said about Abraham? father of many nations <laughs> it says and remember too that was by faith yeah when it's when it was saying the father of many yep. nations it was saying by faith mm -hmm. remember yep. the circumcision yep. thing exactly. by faith the yep. faith of abraham yep. right yep. so when it says every nation when you look up what that word means you it's um what it's we the say greek number 1484 ethnos ethnos mm -hmm. and it says a race a nation. Wow. Says mm. a race here. Says Even though we say there's no race, right? right. But okay, we're going to just go with nationality. But here, it says a race. A nation. Mm -hmm. The nations. As distinct from Israel. Israel. Mm -hmm. It says a race, a nation. The nations. As, as Oh, it says it again. As mm. distinct from Israel. And then again, it says a race. People. Nation. The nations. Then it, ha then it says also heathen world. Gentiles. Mm -hmm. So remember, this is this is just different descriptions of what ethnos means, which mm -hmm. is e every nation. So it look, this is what a race, people, nation, the nations, heathen world, Gentiles. This is what it's telling us. You are all, even in the New yes. Testament scriptures. So, family, that doesn't align with the spiritual Israel. Nowhere do we see in Revelation. A spiritual Israel. It can't be, family, because where, where do other nations fit at? If every nation is spiritual Israel, it's not going to be every nation, right? Mm. It's just all going to be Israel. Israel. 
<laughs> That's it. Why isn't it? Why isn't it showing Israel? It says one hundred and forty-four thousand. Mm -hmm. It says still from every, every tribe. tribe of the sons, the sons mm -hmm. of Israel. Yashrael. Yes. It names them first, you all, and this is not no puffed up nope. look. It you have to understand to where we're coming right. from. It's the order because yes. when we seeing people saying it doesn't matter, when we seeing people saying, you know what, we are we 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 the children of Israel, mm -hmm. and and actually in a in a way of superiority, like right. who you guys think you are, who mm -hmm. you supposed to be. Let me tell you something. This is in the word. This is not Brother Rasha no. and Sister Abiyah's no. words. Mm. We want we went and studied this thing mm -hmm. out because mm -hmm. we wanted to understand this. And we want to write the right. divide the word. Mm -hmm. So we studied it out and we prayed to Yah about this thing. But when you go and you look at look at all of this evidence and you put it together, you all. There is a distinct yes. people. Israel yes. is still the apple of Yah's yes. eyes. Even though he has turned his back on us, mm -hmm. he is still on. Remember that they had many prophets and apostles, disciples that passed away, that mm -hmm. not passed away, that were murdered. Right. For the faith. For the for faith. The so there's many mm -hmm. of them that have already made it. Mm -hmm. Now he has a remnant. And it's, that's why it says to although Israel be like the sand of the sea, only a small remnant right. is going to be saved. Because some did not make it. That's why they said not all Israel is yes. Israel. Mm -hmm. But we are being drafted back in in these times. Mm -hmm. And that partial hardening is only for Yah's esteem. Because remember, he gave us the partial hardening. It says until the fullness of the Gentiles mm -hmm. come in. Mm -hmm. That's still Yah. Showing, because he wants to show his esteem in the end. This is all Yah's mm -hmm. doing. So to be boasting, is nope. no, none of us could boast. None. None. Even the word, even they told yes. us, even it says that in the word. Yes. What it is boasting? None is righteous. No, not one. So boasting we, what? None of us deserve this. Mm -hmm. None of the nations. But we do these type of lessons because one, <clears throat> like Sister Abby, I said, it's not for no one to boast. It's not for here to come here and boast. But when we see people boasting and, and dismissing everything, then we, we take issue with that. Mm -hmm. It's not to dismiss. You, no. No. Mm -hmm. We're not doing the dismissing game. No. That, that again, that's saying nothing matters. We're all one. Right. We all gonna sing Kubaya. Right. Is that's the scriptures don't say that. It's gonna be a certain order, and we would encourage you to actually go into the scriptures mm -hmm. and the ones that we we gave and read the entirety of these chapters. Right. Like it's going mm -hmm. to be order. It's gonna be a certain thing that Yah is gonna do. With the children of yes. Israel and with the nations, with the, other, the nations. other nations that comes into mm -hmm. the kingdom. But one thing we can say is that it's not going to be where it's wickedness right. that dwells there. Because wickedness cannot dwell with y'all. We read that. We yep. read it tonight. I mean, yep. well, not tonight. We read it today. Mm -hmm. I said tonight. But we read it today. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be that. It's going to be all, mm -hmm. you know, love. You know, like it's love. Because y'all is an Elohim of love. But it's going to be certain art or certain roles yes, in the kingdom yes. and the scriptures teaches us that mm -hmm. it does so it's not our words it's scripture exactly. we can go on and on and share exactly. other things but at the end of the day this is the bulk of mm -hmm. it and <clears throat> it's important for us to all get this thing right and to be humble in our walk on all sides exactly. with each other walking in love together with the, you know not all I know mm -hmm. we can we can we can preach this kind of stuff, right. but not all gonna wanna do it. Absolutely. But that's between them and y'all. Mm -hmm. We just plant the seeds that's and y'all gives the increase. Y'all gives the increase. So family, that was our lesson. We hope it was edifying to you. We had a great time doing this study. Learned a lot. I hope you learned a lot, family. Again, thank you to the moderators. Thank you for all of those that supported us. The membership, the super chat, all these things, family. Supporting the website. We have a lot of Bible study tools on our websites. A lot of people ask us what Bible we use. We talked about the C for earlier. We have all those links on the website, family. Check them out if you're interested and you want to. You hear us saying these weird names. They have a lot of those words in the C for family. So right. you can check it out. Um, we definitely recommend that to y'all. So Yes, they have <clears> um, <throat> too. We heard of some people say something about the holly. Hallelujah, Hallelujah scriptures. scriptures too. Mm -hmm. So we want to mention it. But I mean we have resource a resource right. on our website. But mm -hmm. um this is this is our what we use. We use right. the Cipher and 
Howard King James Version. Absolutely. And the scriptures. Yep, and time the scriptures, to time. Yep. But we want to get us a hallelujah scripture. Right, too, so we, we do. We definitely want to check that out. Yes. Yep. But that was our lesson, family. We will talk to you all on the next video. All right. Shalom. Love you all.